What's going on, y'all? So today I am going to go over my favorite uh, Harbor Freight tools. So if you've watched any of my previous tool review videos, I always say in pretty much every single one, it doesn't matter what brand you're buying, as long as you're getting the job done and getting the customer taken care of, that's what matters. Or if you're at home DIY and you're taking care of your own stuff, the job needs to be done. That's what matters at the end of the day. There's all this back and forth about which brand's best, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm gonna say, there, you gotta be careful with some Harbor Freight tools. So don't get me wrong, it's, it's not all amazing and great, but these are the best things that I've purchased that I've not had any issues with. Doesn't mean that you won't have any issues with them, but so far I've been using them for uh, several years now on some of them and others for about a year, and they've been great for me and I use them every day here in the shop. Uh, but again, not everything's gonna be great for you and what you're doing. Just wanna share my opinions. Um, let me know if there's any specific Harbor Freight tools that you're using that you like. Um, I'm curious to know what everybody's using. Um, I bought like a serpentine belt tool from there one time and it broke first try. So that was a no-go for me. So anyways, let's get right into it. First off is this Braun, uh, I just call it an inspection light because that's what I use it for is my inspections. Um, I like it because it has the uh, multi brightness on here as well but it also has the pen light on top also um, and it's $29.99 and they actually run this on sale a few times a year and it comes down to like as low as $19.99 so at $19.99 it's honestly worth picking up two of them um, next time it drops in price I plan on buying another one just as a backup not that I need any more lights I've got a bazillion uh, but I do like this light battery seems to do well for me this is the new updated design so it actually swivels here and here, uh, which is nice when you're, you know, when I'm doing inspections and stuff and trying to get a good picture for my digital inspections, it's nice to be able to swivel that multiple ways. Uh, it helps a lot when taking pictures. So it's got a magnet on the bottom, which is cool. So strong magnet, it's a little big sometimes, but it gets the job done. Next is the 24 ounce uh, soft face Deblo mallet. This is $34.99 is what they sell for at Harbor Freight. I love this thing. I've used it a ton. I actually was just testing out some rags, so it was a lot dirtier, um, but I was testing out some wipes from Kimball Midwest. They stopped by today, and um, so it looks a little cleaner now, but I use this a ton. Most of the time I'm using this for wheels and tires when they're stuck on from corrosion in the hubs, and for $34.99 comparatively to what they sell for everywhere else, that's a really good price. This is the Icon. So this is the 32 ounce Dead Blow. Icon as well. This is $59.99. Um, if you stick around to the end of the video, I know not everybody can and, and will, but if you do, I'm going to grab my Snap-on one. I have the Snap-on 32 ounce version of this, and I'm going to compare them side by side, give you an idea of what they look like. There's not a ton difference, but there is, of course, a price difference. So those are $59.99. Again, I use this for all of my rotors when I'm breaking free rotors, suspension. I use it for a whole bunch of stuff. Now, if I'm needing something really hardcore and heavy. I do grab my Wilton four pound sledge, um, which comes in handy as well. But when I wanna save my hands a little bit and not have to worry about the hammer swinging back and blasting me in the face, I use that. Next is the Icon ratcheting wrenches. Um, what I like about these for one is there's no skips. So it's 10 through 19, no skips in sizes. I've had these since before I started the shop, so over three years, which is really cool. Um, when I was working at the dealership and working from home, I didn't wanna have to buy two sets of uh, tool truck brand stuff. I just didn't wanna spend that kind of money, and I was getting tired of bringing my tools home from the dealership every night and every weekend and taking them back and bringing them home and taking them back. So that got old, um, so I bought these, and they've been fantastic. I've not had any break on me. Not to say that they won't break eventually, but in three years, of regular use, not had much issues. Or no, have not had any issues, I should say. Um, and I'm pretty sure they are lifetime warranty as well. So they're they're 169 now, but I know I paid less than that, so they've just gone up in price because of all the price hikes on everything. So they're 169. They do run that like icon sale. So most of this stuff, I think it's at least once a year, maybe twice a year, where you can get 20% off the icon stuff as well. They just don't run the icon. Uh, brand on sale as much as the rest of their stuff in the store. They have like certain brands that they don't run that 20% off. And then last but not least is this magnetic tool holder. So I actually have one here on the side of my cart. Uh, and I actually have two on the side of my cart. 
Um, and what I like about these is not only are they magnetic, but they have like a felt cover. So they're not going to scratch up if you're putting them on your actual toolbox or the paint, the stainless top up, the, the steel under the stainless top is magnetic on this cart, which is really nice. It's close enough to where I can magnetize stuff to the top of this cart, little side note. So that's why I like this cart as well. But anyways, what I like about it is not only it'll hold screwdrivers really well, but it'll hold, I put my trim tools on there and I'll, I'll set them in there like that. It'll hold my air nozzles. That's actually what I have on the side over there on mine. I have wrenches, trim tools, air nozzles, uh, all sorts of stuff on the side of my cart with this. So that's one thing I like about it. And it's really cheap, it's $13.99. So uh, to be honest, you can't really beat it at that price, $13.99, you can buy a few of those and uh, hook yourself up, have some extra storage on your cart. This is my main cart, so I try to put as much as humanly possible on it, so that way I'm not walking back and forth to my main box or wherever, and I can scoot this around, roll it around to wherever I need. So, as promised earlier in the video, here is the snap-on version, and here is the icon version. As you can see, there's not a ton difference. Most of the difference is in the handle here. Um, they do have the dual spots here where you can hold, you can choke up on the hammer if you need to. I've never needed that on either hammer. I've not used the snap-on one very much. Uh, it's mostly just collected dust because I bought this one a while ago and did some videos on it previously on Instagram. And so I've just used this one and I've used it ever since then and it's been great. So uh, aside from that, that's really the only difference I noticed. It does seem like this plastic is definitely different, but Man, like I said, I've just not had any issues with the Icon one. So there are some things I think are totally fine with saving the money, and this is one of those things. Um, this is $146.50, this is $59.99. So you can buy two of these before you get to the price of even one of those. Now granted, that's before they go on sale, which I'm sure they do, um, but they don't really run like massive sales on their stuff a lot. So if it does go on sale, it might be like 130 bucks or something. So you still buy two of these for the price of that one. So there's your differences, not much. Um, same size, same everything, same height. I mean, you know how Arbor Freight does, you know, they're pretty big on comparing their stuff to snap on. They're pretty big on comparing their stuff to everybody else, which is kind of dumb to me. At the end of the day, just make a good product, price it well, and if it's a good product, it'll sell. But that's just me. I'm not their marketing campaign manager. So uh, anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. As always, if you like this type of content, as typical, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Seriously, if you're still here at the end of the video, I do appreciate it, but let me know what you're using from Harbor Freight and what you like. I'm always interested in trying new stuff. I always need new uh, tools and stuff for content for Instagram and uh, YouTube, so uh, I'm interested in trying anything uh, that might work here in the shop and help me out during the day and help me out during jobs. So appreciate y'all. Have a fantastic day. See ya.